to help hundreds of island families realize the dream of owning their own home. But the project was stalled in 1990 when the company completed the first phase of infrastructure. In 2004, a dispute arose, sending the entire matter to the Superior Court. Maeda Pacific sued the Guam Housing Corporation for $7 million and the government of Guam for another $3 million. Last year, the government of Guam entered into a settlement, paving the way for the property to finally be developed and the construction of 400 affordable homes. You see, Maeda Pacific completed the infrastructure phase and GovGuam was left with nearly an $11 million bill but never paid. The settlement cleared the debt by giving the property to Maeda with the condition that the company would build 400 homes within six years or the property would revert back to the government of Guam. Governor's senior advisor, Arthur Clark. The land was, was turned over to, to Maeda and Guam Housing's $7 million liability was settled. But Gov Guam remained on the hook for $3 million. Why? Because the Attorney General's office refused to accept the settlement on behalf of the government of Guam for the $3 million liability, even after legislation was passed transferring the Lata Estates property to Maeda. And because the Attorney General's office held on to the $3 million lawsuit and wouldn't, wouldn't settle that, dismiss that, uh, Maeda actually ended up getting summary judgment. So they didn't even have, they didn't even go to trial. The opinion from the judge indicated that there wasn't any supporting case law mentioned nor anything to rebut the summary judgment motion. The AG's office then appealed the judgment. Inexplicably just dismissed the appeal. And uh, we've contacted them. We've uh, tried to ask them who they contacted up in the administration or DPW uh, before the appeal was dismissed and we've received no answer. So we don't know why they did dismissed the case. Kind of like the, you know, the Liberty Machines, they're just you know, cases are getting dismissed left and right, and we don't know why. Clark says there was no consultation with the governor's office about the dismissal and says there were good legal arguments that could have been made on appeal. There was a provision in the contract uh, with Maeda that said essentially that Gov Guam would not be responsible to pay the, the, for the infrastructure until after Gov Guam sold the property. Now, there was a statute that came in that seemed to conflict with a contract. So you have a, you have a very good issue here. For the one piece of property the government offered to Maeda, the government could have settled both the $7 million and $3 million liabilities. Uh, Does it baffle you at all? Why? Absolutely baffles me. Uh, why, why would the Attorney General's office reject the settlement? When the land was going to be exchanged anyways, and it wasn't going to cost us any more to have the $3 million wiped off the books, um, you know, at that point, who cares what the legal arguments are if, you know, the deal's going forward. Clark says it wouldn't have cost the government a penny more. And then at least if you're going to hold on to the case, win it. If you're going to hold on to a $3 million liability that you could have let go, you better be prepared to win it. And uh, it doesn't appear that they, they put forth a very good effort. So Reporting for Guam's News Network, okay. I'm Indy Egan.